think you should All right, so in my last video, I mentioned that I was thinking about making a video on my opinions and my thoughts on Dragon Ball Super's English dub. I said that in the last video being my episode review for episode 123 of Dragon Ball Super, obviously in Japanese, but today we're going to be talking about the English dub. Now, I haven't mentioned much about the English dub besides probably like a few weeks ago, like saying that I was going to be watching it maybe I was, I was probably most likely only talking about uh the final chapters which i still need to finish and then obviously in the other video that i posted the other day or probably even yesterday by the time you're watching this uh probably not but uh, i mentioned that i was watching it i am completely caught up with it and there are some moments that made me look back and and look made me look back in the japanese version or in the sub and it made me kind of think which one was better and there were a lot of moments in the dub that I was like oh yeah this is actually really good po probably even better than the sub now don't get me wrong I I still love everybody <laughs> I still love all the voice actors who are in the sub for Dragon Ball Super they're all absolutely fantastic with their performances for the characters that they are doing it is absolutely wonderful it's wonderful. They've been going on with this series for over uh, two years, since 2015, and it's amazing. Don't get me wrong. But the dub is, it just sounds, when you hear the, the characters speak, you can kind of just hear the excitement that characters like Sean Schemmel, Christopher Sava, Monica Rial, Kyle Hubert, stuff like that, all these people, you can almost hear the excitement that they have for doing these characters because it's it's been it's been a minute since then that they've actually had like new piece of Dragon Ball content to actually do over besides something like the video games. So characters like Monica Rial, uh, the voice actor for Trunks, whose name I can't I can't remember right now. Um, uh, honestly, like he gets a lot of kind of voice acting opportunities because of the video games, especially for series like Xenoverse. So uh, he's got stuff to do and obviously Shemmel and Sabbath are obviously doing like Goku and Vegeta and stuff like that for the video games as well. But you can hear the amount of excitement that they have mainly when you're listening to them in the English version for Dragon Ball Super because this is like a new official like story, like plot that they're trying to do for Obviously, those who don't want to watch it in Japanese and prefer listening to listening it in, in the English version. Now, I grew up with Sean Schemmel uh, as the voice actor for Goku, uh, just because you know it was around the time where you know I was born. I was born in the early 2000s, and by then I'm pretty sure Schemmel was doing the voice for Goku. So I grew up with him, and he has then since been my favorite Goku. But I do. Uh, I do appreciate those who have voiced Goku in the past, obviously. They, they're they all great, and something that I can really appreciate that Dragon Ball Super did in the last episode is that they actually brought back the voice actor for uh, the original Ocean dub for Vegeta, for Copy Vegeta, and the whole filler arc where it was like the superhuman water kind of stuff, if you remember that. Uh, it was really good, and it was... It was honestly a pleasure to listen to this man do do the voice for Kabi Vegeta, and you know after hearing you know the whole meme for it's over nine thousand, it was it was honestly a pleasure seeing him do the work as you know Vegeta, you know the original Vegeta. Overall, you you just hear like just the amount of passion that they have for this series. You know Monica Rial, Sean Schemmel, who's like an every episode of Super. He, you can't get enough of him because he's like in almost in every episode. Um, Christopher Sabat, him doing uh, Shenron, um, uh, uh, Yamcha even, Vegeta, Piccolo. I don't know why I, I forgot Piccolo and Vegeta for a second there, but listening him do Piccolo and Vegeta, especially in some of the filler episodes, it's, it's just a pleasure and a joy, especially like Piccolo's interactions uh, with Baby Pan, which is always some of the best scenes that you can honestly get especially with piccolo who people argue is the better father of gohan but you know it's it's kind of whatever it's more kind of like just a meme kind of thing but it is kind of funny uh hearing sabbat do piccolo and him kind of like being like a babysitter for for pan it was honestly uh, it was really funny when i watched that episode 
overall, the dub for Dragon Ball Super, uh, as far as the United States or the U.S. English dub, it's um, it's really good. You know, I go back. Uh, I wanted to rewatch Super, but I didn't really want to go watch it, rewatch it back in Japanese because I had already uh, seen it. Obviously, eventually I will do that at some point. But then the English dub came out, and I just find myself enjoying. The, oops, sorry. <laughs> I find myself enjoying the dub almost a little bit more. And of course, we do hear characters that we only heard in Japanese and we hear them for the first time in English. Uh, Megeta has the worst English uh, English dub voice. I don't like it. It's, I mean, he was already kind of annoying in Japanese and now he's even more annoying in English. I feel like the decision that they made for Megeta was a bad one. I'm not saying the voice actor was really bad because all voice actors are fantastic as long as you know they have the experience because there are s some stuff that I have seen from uh, different shows where it involves uh, voice acting and the voice acting was not good whatsoever. You can just clearly hear it plain as day and you can hear how really bad it is. Now, I'm not saying the voice actor from Begetta is really bad. Uh, actually really good. I just don't like how it's like all robotic like this. It sounds like kind of just really annoying, kind of really stupid in my opinion. I, don't, I didn't really like the change with that. Hit sounds really cool. Whoever does Hit right now, I I didn't get a chance to look up the names for some of these characters who are voice acting characters like Hit, Kappa, uh, Champa, Vados, and Zeno. Zeno's voice actor is perfect. I, I, whoever's doing Zeno, round of applause for you because you are you are doing a fantastic job as Zeno. Uh, perfectly depicts kind of like his attitude as mannerisms. It's fantastic. Um, super excited to hear Shemmel do Goku Black because we did get kind of like a sneak preview, if I guess you can call it, of him doing Goku Black and Xenoverse 2 because he was a DLC character in that game. And obviously, if you got him for, uh, you, got, you obviously got Goku Black in base form if you pre-ordered the game, which uh, I did pre-order Xenoverse 2 and I did get all the DLC for it. So, whew, I'm talking a lot. I'm running out of breath. <laughs> So I am enjoying Super's English dub. It it's a blast to hear all these voice actors that I grew up with just having so much fun doing characters that I I love more than anything. Dragon Ball has always been a part of my life. I grew up with it uh, through the video games and then through watching the show. I uh, grew up with Sabbath doing uh, Vegeta and Piccolo and stuff like that, and Shenron, and then I grew up with Shemmel doing. Goku, uh, just all these guys are amazing. All these guys who are doing the English dub over at Funimation, you guys are doing a fantastic job and I only hope that you continue doing what you're doing and I only hope that you always pu push yourself to do 110% and I'm pretty sure you're already doing that anyways, but I do want to say that we do appreciate you, uh, we always push for the best for you, especially for Especially, especially the voice actor for uh, Frieza, which is Chris Ayers. Uh, I actually completely forgot what his name was. I apologize, uh, Mr. Chris Ayers. I completely apologize for forgetting your name. I just couldn't remember it for a second there. But Chris Ayers, uh, obviously, because I did grow up with uh, uh, with the English dub, and I, I actually grew up with Kai because that was actually the first kind of like piece of content that I actually watched that was from the show because my first piece of content that I watched of Dragon Ball uh, was the video games and then I watched Kai and then uh, Chris Ayers this Frieza and Kai and I love Chris Ayers this Frieza. Chris Ayers this Frieza is, uh, is without a doubt my favorite. Ryu Sei Nakawa uh, is obviously really great Frieza as well. Him doing Frieza is absolutely fantastic. I feel like Chris Ayers and Ryu Sei uh, Nakawa uh, who do Frieza are just, they could just never be replaceable. In my opinion, of course, and obviously because there was a lot of stuff that did happen with Chris Ayers all of all of last year with him needing money in order to pay for his medical bills. Uh, I only hope for the best for him because he is in a state uh, of his life where he could potentially lose his life and we all pray for him. We all pray for the best for him and obviously all the voice actors who do work over at Funimation. Uh, we love you. We love you all. We all appreciate your work. And we only hope that you just do your best 
We appreciate everything that you do. We appreciate it. We, appre we appreciate everything that you do for the community. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say for the video other than Super's English dub is really good. There are a lot of moments where I just feel like I'm debating whether or not the Japanese or the English version is better or not. You know, I find myself debating a lot. Overall, both versions are really good. But right now, I'm really enjoying Dragon Ball Super's English dub. Considering the fact that I have been watching this sub for like like over a year now. Especially in this current moment in time where Super has not changed their intro for the Japanese version whatsoever. Hearing a different he hearing a different opening is absolutely fantastic. I just love it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end up the video here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just head straight to bed because I'm kind of tired. Uh, I was playing Dragon Ball Fighters. I almost lost complete motivation in recording this because I lost a couple of matches that were kind of BS, but it's whatever. Uh, you might see you might see some gameplay in this video. You might see some some gameplay in the coming days. Uh, maybe maybe not, depending if I can you know obviously get the footage or not, because uh, I am struggling a little bit to try to get the footage for it. But anyways, uh, that's the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. If you need the channel. Consider hitting that subscribe button and push that notification button so that you never miss a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out.